Hello, wonderful people. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl once again, Gifty Crowned Melody. I warmly welcome you all back to my channel. Recently, I've got a lot of subscribers. New people have joined the family. I want to officially welcome you to my humble abode. Thank you for joining the family. I love you so much for joining the family. I am so, so proud of you for making the decision to what? To join my channel. I'm so proud of you. And thank you once again for joining. And if this is your first time seeing this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <coughs> please don't for sorry <coughs> please don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay press on the subscribe button subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification and also i have a membership okay please join the membership to support this channel if you uh you have been led to join the membership and also we have the thank you icon which is the thanks icon when you're watching the video under there you know where you see like or dislike share there's a thanks icon there if you want to support you just click on it and then they will tell you what to do for you to be able to support your girl to give some coin to your girl i'll highly appreciate that okay god bless you um today please forgive me that uh, i've not been uploading my normal content or my main video that i always do okay uh because of my work okay so you know it's eight to eight so by the time i close it's too you know late tired you can't even record a video so you know it's too late by then you know we're in winter here everywhere is dark you don't have time to record a video so that is the reason why and my work is from monday to friday okay so that is why i've not been able to be uploading videos or you've not been able to see me at your houses to show love to show sometimes i watch your video all right but what i don't do is i don't have the time to comment so maybe if you don't see my comment doesn't mean i don't watch your video i watch your video but just that I don't have the time to be typing okay sometimes by the time i'll have time to type you know something just came up so please pardon me okay just bear with me okay so today i want us to talk about something uh what i have discovered during this my uh workout okay on my way to lose weight as i've shared with you earlier on my experience and what i have learned to this workout one thing i want us ladies to know if you're a lady and you are watching me and whether you are married or you are single or you are single still searching i want you to have this in mind that looking good is a must and a necessity for every woman out there watching me it doesn't matter if you have five kids six kids ten kids ten children it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you are still single or you have been married with no kid. But looking good is a necessity. It's a comp it, it, it is something compulsory for every lady, for every woman. Listen, the more you work on yourself, the more you have yourself confident, you have that kind of boldness, that kind of, you know, when even you are walking around, you put on clothes and you step out there, you see how people will be looking at you. Let me use myself as an example. When I left my body anyhow, I don't take good care of myself. I just step out anyhow. Yes, I am married. But I watch a lady that said, uh, the clan, okay? Uh, Nancy, the clan, the clan Nancy, okay? The clan Nancy. When I watch her video, she said, she's a married woman. She stepped out there and people look at her, admire her. So if you're a lady and you go out there, people don't look at you, people don't admire you, it means there's something wrong with you. It means there's, there's a problem. I'm sure I watched this video from her. As a lady, you have to look good. When you step out there, even though you are married, you are wearing red, people saw you, people are seeing you with a ring, but they will still look at you and admire, wow, this woman is beautiful. Beautiful does not mean that uh, you are perfect, 100%. When someone sees you and admires you, it means you know how to take good care of your body. You know how to look good. You know how to present yourself. 
There are people, they have all the money. They can afford everything. They buy everything into their fridge, into their homes, but they still look good. How do they do that? They maintain their body. They value it because money can make you and unmake you. If you have money and then you eat anyhow, you leave your body anyhow, that money will still unmake you in a sense that you become sick. You'll be deprived of so many things. There'll be so many clothes that you can't wear. If you want to go to the beach with your husband, you can't go. Your guy wants to take you out to the beach, to the swimming pool, you can't. You, you, you are so ashamed of yourself. When you mingle with your friends, you, are, you don't have this kind of confidence in yourself. I am not saying it is bad to leave your body anyhow. But we all have different body types. We have big bone structure, we have the smaller, we have... But one thing you should do, you should do, never leave your body unkept. Never leave yourself unkept. No matter how busy schedules are, no matter how busy your day is going, set a special time for your body to take good care of yourself. Taking good care of yourself, I am not saying go to the spa, do your nails. If you have time, you can. If you have money, you can. I'm the type that's going to the spa, doing my nails. I'm not used to that. I can do it myself. But what I do is I make sure I keep them cut. I don't even have big, big nails. My nails are very, very short. I have short nails. The one I was growing up, I used to chew my nails. So when I grew up, it came too small. It can grow to become large, long, okay? But what I do is I make sure I take off it. I am not a nail type. Sometimes I buy it, I fix it two days, I remove it. I, I'm not just used to. But your physical appearance, my ladies, don't joke with your physical appearance. Because when I step out now, people do admire me. Some of you tell me, when they look at my old pictures, ah, you look older here. But here you look younger, you look older here, you look... When my husband was saying something, that when you go to the... Uh, when he went to the nutrition, they were saying, the more you are overweight, the more you leave your body to be to, to be doing whatever the body wants to do. You, you've, if you're 50 years, you are about 70 to 80 years. When you're 30 years, you are about 50 years. So the body, the way you the body is, your body will show the age that fits that kind of body. I saw a lady that they were asking how old how old was she and she said she's 28 years and the man said oh I thought you were 19 years you look 19 and it's true she even looked more than 19 you understand because she knows how to keep herself she knows how to take off herself okay ladies let us take good care of ourselves let us maintain our body okay you are married look good for your husband Look elegant for your husband. Look beautiful for your husband. Take good care of yourself. Have a special time for yourself. You know, do you know do your body scrubbing? You know, buy good cream for yourself. I'm not saying you should buy the, the most expensive designer clothes. What is designer clothes? Nancy, the client Nancy was saying, there's difference between what? Knowing how to dress, knowing what to put on, the things that fit your body and buy the most expensive clothes. If you buy the most expensive designer wears and you don't know how to dress, you don't know how to put them on, it will, not, it will still look anyhow on you. But knowing how to dress, it does not matter if you go and buy a bend down boutique, which is buying dress from, you know, the way they say it in Africa, you know, even here to you, see some clothes, the point, you just go and pick it, you pay. Listen. Even if you buy that and you know how to dress, you look so beautiful. So taking care of yourself and presenting yourself, how you want people to see you, is very important. Okay? Today, away, we have not been able to be doing the exercise since I uploaded that video that I'm 85, almost 85. I'm 84 now. Okay? So I said to myself, I still have six more kilos to lose. I still have more work to do. Six is just a number. It's just more because I've been able to lose 16 kilos. What is sex that I can't, okay, with the help of the Lord. So ladies, I just want to come your way this evening to let you know, looking good is a must for every lady. It does not matter if you don't have kids. It does not matter if you have 10 kids. I've watched women with 6 kids, 7 kids, and they still look good. Some, some of the, some of the, sometimes you look at them and you think that, ah, who is the mother, who is the daughter? Because they know how to take good care of themselves. Ladies, let us 
uh, let us invest time in our body and let us take good care of our body. Our body is very important. If you take off your body and you step out there, you look so gorgeous. People look at you and they admire you. People in their cars driving, they will look at you and admire you. I am telling you guys, I am telling you ladies. So if you're a single lady, you are so why is no man approaching me? Look into yourself, sit in front of the mirror or sat, stand in front of the mirror and look if there's something you should work on okay work on your body work on yourself because that is your pride that is your pride listen when i begin to take off myself last week i went to the shop with my husband and i make sure i look good i'm telling you guys i make sure i look good i dress simple but look good and elegant put on my you know my shoe okay nice one you know, I put on my wedge with, you know, the stretch so that, you know, you know, we are in winter here. And the way my husband was working with me, I saw different. The way he was behaving, I saw difference. If you dress anyhow to walk, to go out with your husband, your husband will also look anyhow to match you. But if you look elegant to follow your husband out, he also treats you like the way you are dressed. I am telling you ladies, mark this word. Just try it. If you look elegant... To step out with your husband, your husband will treat you the way you look. He'll work with you. He'll be proud of you the way you look. But if you dress anyhow, like anyhow person to follow because he's not married, who is watching me? Your husband is watching you. The world is watching you. People are watching you. So if you dress anyhow and your husband is not even proud of you, he step out there, his self-confidence is hidden. It, it, it has been shattered. But if you look good to follow your husband out, he also be proud of you. If people are looking at you, say, yeah, that is my wife. That is my woman. Guys, let us take good care of ourselves. Our body is very important. Our health is very important. Not, also, not even the body to look good, but your health is very important. I used to wear Kele, um, Kele uh, in Spanish, extra large, okay? Extra large. Today, I am wearing medium. I'm wearing this thing here. This is large. It is over huge on me. It is too big on me that what I wear now is medium. My dress medium, my down medium, my jeans. I have to, since I have sewing machine, I have to, you know, uh, resize size it so that it becomes smaller to fit because it, can, it has become too bigger on me. So now my size is medium. Medium, 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 medium. M. M. That is my size now, guys. Can't you see that from extra large to medium? And when I went the other day, when I started, I went and then I bought this trouser. This trouser, I bought it. Uh, this is large. But guys, look at it. I just want you to see this. Guys, look at this. See that. Can you see that, my guys? If you see that down here, you, you think maybe I borrowed it from someone. You can see. You would think that I borrowed this from someone guys you see look isn't this beautiful can isn't this beautiful guys when you take good care of yourself you look so elegant you look so beautiful you look so gorgeous and you yourself you feel so proud of yourself when you step out there and people are looking at you you know that they are not looking at you to say look at this lady look at how this lady is looking look at how this lady have kept herself but you know that they are looking at you to admire your body. They are looking at you to tell that you are beautiful. Okay? Not in a disgust way, but they are looking at you and say, Wow, we are proud of this girl. Look at how this lady is looking. Okay? And you also you begin to walk majestically because you know something is going on in your body. I love you. And don't forget, health is power. Health is very important. Health money cannot buy it so take good care of yourself it doesn't matter you eat rice every day but just know how to eat it and make sure that if you eat you are the type that eat carbohydrate food every day make sure you invest time once in a week or twice in a week to work on your body because of my work i make sure i work out on saturdays okay on saturdays and on sunday and sometimes saturdays alone or sundays alone but i make sure i do it double my husband said, you don't need exercise because you are working. So no, not because I'm working. Exercise is for everybody. It doesn't matter your work is 
sit down where you also you, you always sit down exercising is for everybody once in a while not you know, at least once in a week you should be able to exercise if you have to do it like twice two hours every day make sure in the weekend sometimes you can even invest like five hours to do workout saturday sunday make sure you invest five hours four hours to work out and you'll be proud of yourself i love you don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to share the video and we recording the next video right now in this same up, um, outfit guys because i want to put it together that next week we we'll have video to watch okay i love you but remember god loves you all bye bye